Hello my lovely Cancerians, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is a general collective reading for all Cancerians, sun, moon and rising. So please take the energy that resonates, if it doesn't resonate then leave it where it is. Let's get straight into your reading. So angels, okay. Want me to take two? Okay, yep, right. <clears throat> okay, so they want me to take two today for you special people you okay so i'm also cancer moon so i'm going to take this as i'm a special person today too okay so first thing we've got is energy healing your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose okay and we've also got you're on the right path keep doing what you're doing because it's working Okay, so I feel that the reason I've got two is because there's two separate readings. So the first one is energy healing is something that you are, that you do. You might do energy healing as um, like a hobby or, you know, it's just something that you're interested in. Or maybe it's something that you're on a healing journey yourself and um, you're trying to find uh, different ways of healing rather than just take medication. There's nothing wrong with taking medication. If you need to take it, you take it, okay? But if you want to go down a different avenue or a different route, uh, a more holistic route, then energy healing could be something that you would want to look into. Um, I feel that if you do look into it, it could open many more doors for you than just healing. I feel that it's something that you will automatically connect with and wonder why you haven't been doing this all your life. Then the abilities that you then, um, that you learn and that you grow with, uh, you'll be able to help other people. So that is something for some of you, but not necessarily for all of you. For some of you, it might just mean going to get some energy healing work done, such as Reiki and Kaigan and all that kind of stuff. Just have a little look on Google and see what is uh, what what you get more drawn to, okay? Um, and that will help you on this healing process. For others of you, whatever you're doing right now, keep doing it, okay? You're on the right path and it might feel like you are, um, you're stuck, that nothing seems to be moving, that you feel like I'm working and working and working and nothing is going anywhere and you're getting really frustrated with yourself. It's just your test, okay? The universe is testing how committed you are to it. If you are committed to it, they have to test you. They can't say, oh, do you know what? I'm going to start a YouTube channel. And after my first three videos, if I haven't got any subscribers or any views, then what's the point? I'm not going, in. I'm not going to carry on. Then your commitment to it isn't where the universe needs you to be. So maybe now is not the right time for you to do that. But whatever you're, you're doing now, whatever you're working on now, it's the right thing to do. And this could not mean career necessarily. Some people could be like sat there thinking, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here with this. I don't know if this is the right path for me. I don't know what I should be doing. Should I be choosing this new relationship? Should I be going for this job rather than this job? Should I be starting a business or not? Should I be traveling the world or not? Um, this is your sign to say you're on the right path. So if you don't know if you're on the right path, if your life, career, whatever it is, you are. You're on the right path. And even though it feels like nothing's moving, keep going. Just keep walking. Keep taking those steps. Got the two of coins. Yep. Yeah. Two of pentacles, two of coins. About finding balance. The judgment card. Yeah. And then I want this one too. Ten of cups. Wow. Okay. And then you've got the nine of swords. Yeah. So you've got the two of uh, coins or the two of pentacles. They're interchangeable. Uh, this is about you uh, finding balance. So you don't know if you're on the right path or you're on that healing journey, but you're still trying to live the life that you normally live because, you know, you've got to go work, got to pay bills, you've got to do this, got to do that. Um, and it's about finding that balance, being able to take some time out for you to be able to heal, but also to be able to still carry on living life and having fun doing what you need to do. So it's about finding that balance. Sometimes we need to sacrifice some things to be able to enhance one area of our life. Um, but then sometimes you need to put that bit down so we can go and do something else. So I don't feel that you've got the right balance in your life right now. And that's where energy healing might come in for some of you to be able to balance out your chakras. 
Um, for others of you, like saying on you're on the right path, it's about that finding again finding balance, finding balance on your journey of wherever you may you are. Um, if you uh, are not having time with your family, your friends, uh, relationships, or whatever because you're working too hard, you need to be able to find ways where you can um, put work down to be able to go and do um, do that, do certain things with your family, so your friends, your loved ones. Because sometimes when we put stuff down and we go and do something else, that's when we get our most inspiration. So you do need to find a lot of balance in your life right now. You've also got the judgment card. The judgment card is, um, for me, the energy that I'm reading off this is that you have a big decision to make. Um, the universe, ha I feel the universe has seen all the work that you've put in. That's why you're on the right path. All the commitment that you've made, even when you feel like there's nothing being made, um, that nothing's moving forward, sorry, um, you still, you're still committed. You're still pushing yourself through it. Even when you say, I'm giving up, I just don't see the point. You take a breath and you come back to it and you're not, you're not running away from it. You're staying committed to it. It's going to even be a relationship. Uh, the judgment card is saying that the universe has noticed you doing that. The universe has seen that your commitment towards something and now they want to reward you. And there was some, for some of you, they might reward you by giving you some choices to make. Uh, a big, massive life decision that you need to make, but it's a reward from the universe. And whatever you decide to do will be the right choice. And then that will be your ten of cups. The choice needs to be made of what's right for you and not anybody else in your life, just you. When you make it right for you, then everything else in your life will fall into place. And it will, because then you've got the Ten of Cups. Um, you're, you're happy ever after, your successful business. Everything that you have been working towards, everything that you desire, everything that you want in your life is going to um, come into fruition for you. But you need to find balance. You need to keep that commitment going for whatever it is that, that is resonating with you. And then when a decision, a choice comes up, you need to make the right choice that is for you and not anybody else. Because like you've got the nine of swords here. And I feel that the nine of swords is right now you've got a lot of sleepless night, a lot of stress. For some of you, this could be financial. Um, maybe you have kind of left a corporate job to start your own business and it's not bringing the money in. Again, the universe is saying, we see you, you're being committed, we're going to reward you with this, with the Ten of Cups. But right now, you are having a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, uh, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress. Uh, just take a deep breath, keep going. Your, your happy ever after is on its way. And that doesn't necessarily need to mean love. You know, happy ever after for you might mean a successful career, a successful business. A happy ever after might be opportunity to go and travel the world. Whatever that might be for you, but success is coming. Your happy ever after is on its way. Okay, angel spirit guys, why is the two of coins, why are the two, ugh, can't speak. Why is the two of coins here, please? Why is the two of coins here, please? Show me the card I need to see. Okay. strength okay you're gonna have to have a lot of... okay that's too many cards thank you why is the judgment card here please you're gonna have to call upon your inner strength okay so we do have the justice card and we have the knight of wands and on the bottom of the deck we do have the seven of swords so you've got the strength card here the strength card you have to use your inner strength um to be able to find balance because you feel guilt if you spend time with your friends your family your children your loved ones you feel guilty for not working and providing for them but if you're working and providing for them you're feeling guilty not spending that time with them you need to use that inner strength to put those uh, thoughts at the back of your mind because spending time with family and loved ones is not something you should feel guilty over and also um being able to work and provide for your family is again something you shouldn't feel guilty over so you need to use your inner strength to keep finding that balance and to keep moving forward you need to find the strength to keep that commitment that you have made to yourself and to your family even when other people think that you're stupid and you're doing something wrong keep going keep that strength because it is going to be rewarding you 
You've also got the justice card here. So I feel this, um, the energy I'm getting from here is that some, some things are going to be revealed to you. So like some truths going to be revealed to you of how to keep moving forward with your, with your journey that you've chosen to take. If some of you are in a legal battle, like justice will be served and fairness will be given. Because the universe has sin. You've got the judgment card and the justice card under each other. So things are going to be made right. Any wrongs that were given to you are going to be made right. And the way they're not going the way they're going to be made right is not in the way that you would have expected. Like some people might be expecting an apology and that's how it's made right, but it's not. This is the universe talking about. The universe does crazy things in crazy ways that you never imagined would be possible. They've seen all the work you've put in. They've seen the blood, the sweat and the tears. They've seen the betrayals that you've had to endure, the pain that you've had to go through with life. And now they're coming down and giving you, giving you fairness. They're giving you what you truly deserve and what you truly desire. It's all coming to you. But you've got to stay committed. You have to stay committed. You've also got the Knight of Wands here. The Knight of Wands is a very... Um, energetic and passionate card i feel that the thing that you are working on you are very very passionate about and i feel that you are about to start moving forward into a brand new adventure but i feel that something's going to happen that you're going to have to make a very quick decision over and you're going to have to be very impulsive it's kind of like one of these decisions where it's like a now or never and you'll just go just go and then you'll just take action towards it and it will be inspired. It will be inspired action that you're going to be taking. By spending a bit more time with your family, by finding that balance, you're going to be having all these inspiration and inspirations and ideas coming through to you. And when you get those inspirations, when you get those ideas, you're going to take action towards it. But it's going to be an impulsive thing. It's just like, I've got this idea and, and you just do it. You do it without even realising that you're doing it. It's not something that you think, oh my God, that's so impulsive of them. They never do something like that. And they go, why should you do it? Like, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what come over me. I just went for it. I just did it. And I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like, you won't even know why you're doing it. You just did it. And then you've got the Seven of Swords. And Seven of Swords is usually about betrayal and um, people going, kind of going behind your back. But the energy I'm getting from this is that this thing that you're going to have to, that you decide to go for very impulsively, you're going to have to do differently. And that's not to say you're going to have to go behind people's back and betray them. It's just that you're going to have to kind of like break the rules a little bit. Not the law, don't break the law, but break the rules of way things are traditionally done and do things in a very different way. You're going to be very strategic about things and plan things down to a T once you took that initial impulsive action, you'll start planning things, but you might have to go um, you have to go around the back rather than go through the front door rather than go like I'm just gonna open this door and we're gonna see what happens like do you know what I need to go around the back or I need to climb through a window to get this i don't i can't go through the front door i have to break a through a few rules to be able to get the thing that i want be very strategic about it very much you're very much planning once you take that initial impulsive action okay can you clarify okay wow yes the knight of swords here the knight of swords come out that's fast action you are not messing around when you took whoa okay and the King of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Death card. Wow. So the Knight of Swords is you taking very, very quick action. I feel that some of you are going to like remove a blockage that has been getting in your way. You've not been able to move forward. And all of a sudden, a block moves. Something moves out of your way. And you see that opening and you just run for it. You just go for it. This is a very, um, the Knight of Swords, is, for me, is one of the very fast action cards. It's very, like, you. it's fast thinking. You've got impulsive with the Knight of Wands. With the Knight of Swords, you've got the fast thinking and you go for it. You just like, it's open, go. 
and you just run towards it. You, you take that action. You're very ambitious. You don't hold back. When that door opens, you run. You just run. And then you've got the King of Wands as well. And the King of Wands is, um, you're very focused on what it is that you want. You're very focused on what you want, but it's not coming into your fruition. And that is what is frustrating you. But then a door opens, a blockage is removed. Either the universe undoes it or something happens, like a court case becomes, uh, the truth revealed in a court case, something, something moves out of the way. And when it does, all those things that you've been visualising, visualizing all those things you've been focusing on all this hard work is going to come into your fruition so stay focused stay visionary on your say very keep visualizing the things that you want and you are going to receive and achieve all the things that you desire like the king of wands look he's looking at his one there he's like i'm going that way we're going that way knight of swords run through the door we're coming we're that's the door we need to go 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 and that's where you're going we're heading that way because then things are about to change for you. So even though you're feeling stuck at the moment, like nothing's moving, that's all going to change. Everything's going to change. The wheel of fortune is here. It's going to start turning in your favour. You're going to have um, new beginnings and good luck and good karma coming your way. Your life is about to change when you run through the door when the block moves. And on the bottom of the deck, we do have the death card. And the death card is a fantastic card to have. It's like you are leaving the old you behind and walking into the new version of you. It's, re it's a rebirth card as well. You are starting to step into the person that you've been working towards. You're starting to step into that person that you really and truly want to be. That you know who you really are. That you've been chasing and hunting down that person. That person that you are meant to be, you've been hunting them. And now you've caught up with them. And now it's time for you to step into the person that you are meant to be. Wonderful reading, Cancerium. Okay. Right, we're going to ask our angels a question. And I'll ask, and they'll send the answer through the cards for us. So while you're thinking and while I'm shuffling, they've already thrown one out. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and that notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. I do them daily, weekly, monthly and the zodiac signs every single weekend and yours comes out every single Sunday. Okay, a card has fell out. I'm just going to see if anything else comes out. If not, we'll just read the bottom of the deck. So one more. Okay. Right, so the answer to your question was let go. Okay, so whatever it is that you're holding on to, just let go of whatever you can't control and focus on the things that you can. And then on the bottom of the deck, you've got within the next few weeks. So whatever it is that you are working towards, whatever it is that you are manifesting, whatever it is that you are wishing for, within the next few weeks, it is going to come to you. That's what I've got for you today, my lovely Cancerians. Thank you so much for spending that time with me. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonated with you, please drop it in the comment box below. I read and respond to every single one of my comments as I love to connect with every single one of you. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. And I'm really trying to get to that 500 subscribers. Um, so any love and support you can send my way, it would be very, very much appreciated just to get my messages out there to more people and hopefully help them gain a little bit of clarity and hope in their time of need like it did for me and I hope like it has for you okay I hope that whenever you're watching this you're having a great day say and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one bye guys